In art today, we're going to learn about and celebrate influential black and people of colour throughout history and today. And we're going to do this by working in the style of this artist. Um, he's a New York Street artist called Dane. Dane layers black and white photographs with old advertisement, um, printed frames, logos. So you can see lots of different bold lettering in his background. You can see each portrait has a red spray painted eye and we're going to work in his style today. You're going to produce something similar to this and you will be given a person when you enter the room. Your first step to create in this style of background is we're going to layer thick strips of magazine and tissue paper into your background. So all you need to do is quickly rip your strips of paper and with the PVA glue layer it into your background. So it's a really really quick process. A small amount of glue on your page and then you are going to layer and overlap strips of magazine paper and tissue paper all over your page to break up that bright white background. When you're choosing your newspaper, uh, your magazine print, have a look to see if you can find any big chunks of lettering because you can see in Dane's work he has big chunks of letters just showing through his work. So take that into consideration when you are layering. Really quickly, all over. You're not going to spend longer than five minutes layering everything into your background. Once you've finished collaging your background, it should look something like this. Then, what we need to do next is get your image onto your background. So what you're going to do with the sheet with your images on, we're not going to cut around the image, you're going to just carefully rip around because we don't want any neat edges, we want some rough, jagged edges. So you are going to carefully just along the outline of your person just carefully rip around the outside edge be careful not to rip into the face you're just quickly tearing your person out and then it's going to be glued into the middle of your page. From here you are then going to take thin strips of magazine paper and tissue paper and it's going to be layered slightly coming over your image. So if we look at this one thin bits of magazine and tissue paper just softly coming into your image to break up this harsh line all the way around. So, tiny spread of glue and then you're going to start layering and overlapping thin strips
all the way around the edge of your person. Once your page is looking a little bit like this, we're then going to add white paint to the areas of our images where you're going to be adding quotes and the name of the person. So with each picture, you've got a little bit about that person, their name and some of their quotes. Okay, so on your piece of paper, I want you to have the person's name and I want you to read about them so you know who they are and what they've done and I want you to pick two quotes of theirs that you really like. So into your background we need to think about our composition so where we want those quotes to go. So I'm going to have a little bit at the bottom here so I'm just softly going to scrape some white paint in first this will tone down the background and allow me to see the writing once I put it on my page. Okay, So you can see, I can still see the collage underneath. I've not hidden it completely. So with your paper, with your quotes on, you're going to rip around the one that you want to use. So it's like this. Then you are going to get some strips of clear sellotape and you are going to put that tape over the quote. Overlap your pieces of tape on your image. Then you can just cut any big bits of excess tape off. From here, we're going to get a pot of water, turn our paper over, and we're going to rub the paper back off with the water leaving the text behind. So I've got my water, I'm going to dip my finger in the water and I'm just going to start wetting the back and as I keep rubbing the white paper will start to come off the back. And if you're really careful the paper will start to come off and you can start seeing the letters that are left behind. Once you start seeing the letters try not to rub over that bit too much so the black writing doesn't come off. And you're going to do that all over the back of your quote. So you can see now I've just got the clear tape with the writing left behind. Then you can put a little bit of glue, you only need a tiny bit because the tape will still be quite sticky, but you can put a tiny bit of glue on and you are just going to place it over where you've scraped that white paint. To layer that quote into your work. Are you going to do the same with the name of that person as well?